<laughs> Say hi guys. Hi guys. Fuck. I'll edit all this <laughs> Okay guys, welcome back to Live With This. Stephanie here. And as you can tell, Stephanie's hair is more foxy crazy. We're gonna do color on it. We, um, last time we did a 2A on Stephanie's hair, but they didn't have that, so I had to settle for a 2N, which is a very dark brown. Um, it's not, I wouldn't consider it brown at all. It's actually a very, like, dark, dark black. Um, so the equipment we're going to use, right here, guys. The equipment. Uh, the equipment. <laughs> the things we're going to use is this. It's the color. Obviously, you need the bottom developer. You're using 20 because you're, 20 bottom because you're depositing color. This is what we're going to use to mix it. This is what we're going to use to apply it. This is to squeeze out the color. This looks like a little key, guys. There we go. A little to squeeze out the color. Um, to measure Vaseline around. Um, this is protect. There we go. This is an old one I've had forever, but this is to protect her skin right here around the edges so she doesn't, like, we don't get any color there. Of course, we know our mixing bowl, our timer, and this is for afterwards. So, she already brushed up this big hair, as you can tell. Huh? I said she already mixed up this big hair, as you can tell. <laughs> and we're, I, I'm just doing it all over color. You guys, look at all my grays. She does have some gray there, but that's an all over color that we're doing. Guys, if I don't, if you don't hear me talk, it's because I have my headphones on, trying to listen to the music. All right, guys. So, um, the way you want to start off, I am old school. Like, there's a lot of I've seen like a lot of videos where people like they just like throw it on there or they, you know, whatever. But I actually like to. I'm old school, but I still I section off in four sections, and the first two are behind the ear. And then, um, the first two are behind the ear. And then the, you know, you're going quad, so you got your, you can, I mean, it's A, B, C, D, or one, two, three, four, however you want to, um, you know, however you want to call it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so we're doing all over color. So the way I'm going to start is go oh i am missing my gloves guys that's what i'm gonna miss i'm missing my gloves we're gonna do an all over color so um we're gonna start by protecting her skin first and then we'll go with the color so i'm gonna get some gloves i'll be right back do you want me to zoom in a little bit yeah okay all right guys i got my gloves here you use this to protect your hands to not get color on you Do I have to scoot up or no? no? So you're gonna see the back of Stephanie's head because that's where I start off on I start off on this side. Alright guys, we're gonna prep our client by putting this all around the edges of her hair. Damn it. Hey child, hold this right now. Hold this right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna butter you up. I have to hold it? Yeah, because I'm gonna butter you up. Okay. So whenever I'm putting Vaseline around the edges of her head, like right here, I always say I'm going to butter her up. Get a little bit of Vaseline on your finger. Just go around the edges, not into the hairline because of course you want it to color. So you want to make sure that doesn't really get on the hair. It's okay if it touches it a little bit, but not a whole bunch. And you're literally just going around all the edges of her, her hair. Right here, over her ears. I like to just touch to like the the very top of her ear right here, so that it doesn't you know because everything's gonna get color there you know if hair's gonna you know it's gonna go down it's gonna eventually get some color. Now you're just following the perimeter of her hairline. Like I said, just on the skin you don't want to color um, get it on her hair, but it's okay if it touches the skin a little bit. And you can just repeat that same process throughout the whole hairline. Okay. Let me get the other side. Hey guys, this is my mixing bowl right here. Um, like I said, we're using 2N. And 
Um, this is a this two right here is two ounces, so it's the one to two ratio. So we're gonna we're gonna use half of it. So what you do this little tube here. Um, so I like to start off with half of it because you can always add more. I can't tell you the importance of not um, wasting color that you do not use because this stuff is not cheap, guys. Okay, so you're using half of it, and like I said, this is two ounces. And it's one to two ratio, so you're gonna use. Um, we use one ounce, so we're gonna use two ounces of 20 volume developer. So you always just wanna shake this a little bit, or you can get it to open. All right, guys. So I'm right at two ounces of 20 volume developer. We're going to put it all the way in there. And you're going to mix it. So all you want to do is mix it well. This thing, you're going to add on all the roots on her head first, the quads, and then you're going to start going through the color. All right, guys, so you, you can't see the front of what I'm doing right now, but um, you just outline your quads right here. Outline your quads, and you want to do that to each section because it can cover the roots. See when it has a little bit of gray? Um, I mean, it's not coming from the roots, really, but you just want to make sure you outline all the quads. I'm not going to be able to listen to my headphones because... I don't want to get it dirty. Gosh. I think my right thumb is broken. Why? I don't know. It just fucking hurts. Alright, guys. We're moving on to the quad in the back. You can actually see this one. Um, so, like I said, we're just outlining the quads. And you want to make sure you outline, um, it's like half an inch here. Not more than that, um, just do half an inch because you're going to get everything else. So the same section, I mean the same thing that you're doing to the other parts is the same thing you're doing here, just outlining all your quads. Hear them? Yeah, that's funny. Man, that is cold, or I just haven't had color in a long time. Put your head towards me. Nope. No. Straight. Just lean your head. There you go. Alright guys, I'm, I don't have the best angle here, so I'm really trying to just show you what I'm doing. And I have been doing Stephanie's hair for like years. Like, we have literally done everything to her hair. Um, I'm surprised I still have hair. It's fried off. Uh... It's done everything because Stephanie, she's just the type of person who wants to do anything to her, but she hasn't done anything lately to her. So, um, so yeah, guys. Would that make my eyebrows darker? Why well, you want to color the gray hair you got? I mean, maybe. <laughs> Stephanie has a gray hair and eyebrows, guys. But will it make it darker? Yeah. Like black, black? Yeah. Really? Yep. 
Can we try it? Alright guys, well, I'm working on the front right here. I'm gonna go pretty fast with it and then we'll start with um put it in your head. We should have Melody hold the camera for us. Yeah. Alright guys, you wanna work fast with your sections, make sure you're covering everything. Did you just burp? Yeah, use the mic. And as soon as you go over, all you're going to do is put it onto the other side. Stephanie does have gray, so make sure you hit those roots the way you did your engine, your, your quads. You know, I had a dream. Of what? That um, we went to go see Theo Fon and um, Juanito. Yeah. But mom wasn't with us. It was me, you... Dad and Joey. What the hell? Yeah, it's really weird. That's your I mean, I haven't smelled color like that in a long time. You know, I never knew. You're going through your sections, you're getting like maybe an eighth of an inch of a section. And you just want to make sure you cover everything. Like, start from the very top. Make sure that it's not completely dry, but you just want to make sure it's like saturated. You don't want it soaking either with color because it just kind of over processes the color. Alright guys, so you're done with this first quad, you're going to flip it over and just let it process and then um, so start mixing that color for me. Stephanie, I've been doing her hair for years guys, so she already knows like what to mix and how much, so um, she knows exactly what to do. She's doing exactly what I did in the very beginning of the video where she's just winding it all down the color, um, all of it. I got confused because <laughs> I always do baking Stephanie's hair and my mom and um, Becky's hair uses just half a tube because she has very fine thin hair. And um, Stephanie's the one who uses like a whole tube, so I always forget because I do both of them so often. I'm so sorry, guys, about the angle. Like, I don't have the best angle here, so I'm just doing as best as I can do. And you want to work quickly because, you know, you have color processing, so you just want to make sure you're going along with it. And, guys, I, um... I'm a dreamer, <laughs> like I like to dream, but my dreams eventually come to reality of what I want. Like I've always wanted a Cadillac, I eventually got it. So I am honestly thinking, I've been thinking about it forever, like since I started beauty school, like I want my own beauty salon. And I have four chairs that I got um, for like dirt cheap because where I work at, they were getting rid of them. And I bought two of them for 20 each and they had two more back there that some other girl was gonna buy, but she never got them. So I ended up getting them for free. So I literally paid like 40 bucks for these chairs. And, um, I just kind of feel like if you don't go after what you want, like you don't chase it, it's not going to happen because it's not going to come to you. So I am planning to um, slowly buy things that I would want to put inside my salon and buy them like as cash, like when I have the money, so I can already have them. So when I open the salon, I already got a lot of the equipment out the way. So I have four chairs and I am going to pick up two shampoo chairs tomorrow. And I literally already got like a lot out the way because... After that, for the stations, all you need is your mirrors. And at Ikea and Home Depot, they're for good prices. They're like maybe 50 bucks a mirror, which is super cheap. And um, I'm thinking of, of just getting, having like six stations, like three of a stylist and then three of a barber. And then um, I'm going to have a makeup station. And then manicure, pedicure, and then we're going to do waxing as well. But I'm, of course, I'm dreaming, like, I don't have a place to lease or anything like that. But it's nice to dream and try to buy stuff that you need. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You tried, right? So. Damn it, I got color in my vanity. Oh. I don't know, I guess it's kind of drifting. It's okay, it's just a dot. Again, guys, I'm sorry for the angle of life. This is literally what you're doing throughout the whole head, the whole thing. And right now, when I finish this section, I'm gonna I'm almost done with the section. I'm gonna have Stephanie stand up so you can see the front of it and see how it's processing. And then, and yeah, this is literally this is just an all-over color. You want to hit the roots up first, like I did, to do the quads to get a little bit of the gray that she has coming through. And um, you're gonna let this process for 30 minutes. 
you want to leave it longer, 45 minutes is usually whenever she has like, a lot of gray hair. Like, I'll leave Becky's for 45 minutes. Stephanie's always only do for 30 minutes. And my mom and Becky always do 45 minutes to make sure that the hair gets fully, the gray hair gets fully covered. But, um, yeah, guys. I'll show Stephanie right now how she looks from the front. And like I said, after you're done doing all your quads, you're putting the same um, steps that you did on these two quads. And you're going to let it process. And then you're done. She's going to rinse it out, shampoo, condition it well. And that's it. And if you have any questions on anything like color, anything like that, then you can just, you know, comment. Your what? You got a spare cut. Who? Come here. Your boyfriend. Oh. I don't got a boyfriend. We don't. Damn. Ain't that some shit? Mm -hmm. Okay. Closely. Um. So you can see how the, the Vaseline's there. These are all her sections. So we're gonna do that throughout the rest of her head, and that's it. So that's a full color. Um, a full color, all over color. And thank you for tuning us. Thank you for tuning into Life with us, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.